This week we're looking at safe nesting places for the solitary bee. One of our most efficient pollinators in the garden. And unlike the honeybee or the bumblebee, it is not a social bee, preferring to make individual nests in the nooks and crannies around our homes. If we take a look in here, you can see a nice little hole here. We've got a few more down below down here. Now, during the summer, if you live somewhere with an old wall like this, you'll probably see what looks like honeybees going up and down the wall the whole day. That's actually the solitary bee. While they do make nests individually, they, they'd like to be close to each other, but their individual nests just all in the same area. Now, if we come down here, if you do not have old walls, as some people do, what, we could, what you can also use is a solitary bee house. Now, this is a large solitary bee house. It's a collection of bamboos. The solitary bee will come in, will investigate it. She will go to the back of it, lay a little egg, then collect some pollen, and she will bring a little pollen ba ball back and leave it beside the egg before she seals up inside in the tube. She might lay five or six eggs coming out towards the tube, depending on how large the tube is. On this house, we've got a few extra bits. This is for ladybirds and lacewings. If you get some straw or some dead plant material, grab a little bit of it here. Just any sort of material will do. You just kind of roll it up into a ball and we'll stick it back into our nest here. The second door, this is a butterfly door. During the autumn time or during the winter, certain butterflies in Ireland will want somewhere to hibernate. Most people will find them in their curtains during the winter, but we can provide a habitat for them ourselves. Again, you don't leave it empty. If you have some sheets of paper, bits of bark, just take them, place them in side by side. And during the winter, when the butterfly finds the house, she will go in and she will hopefully hibernate in the house. Now, when you're sighting a bumblebee house, it's very important that it's in the correct location. In Ireland, the prevailing wind is coming from the west, so we want to be positioned in an area where it's to the south or to the southeast. We want to get that early morning sun as well, so preferably southeast. Place it around 1.5 meters above the ground. If it's placed on the ground, you risk animals such as dogs, cats, or even birds maybe doing damage to the bees. Let's take a look over here, and we'll see about another one that we have. Now, Another very important point is to make sure that you position your, your solitary bee house. If you have a wildflower garden, position it close to the garden. As it's collecting its pollen for its young, it needs somewhere close to be able to grab this nectar. So this is uh, another solitary bee house that we have in the area, and exclusively for solitary bees. As you can see, you can hang it on the side of a fence, you can hang it off of a tree. Now we've positioned it in front of the annual pollinator mix which we sowed recently. Later on this summer these flowers will be flowering, there'll be a massive colour and good amount of nectar and pollen for the solitary bee. So I hope you enjoyed the video, we'll check back again here later during the summer and uh, we'll talk to you again.